going on everybody welcome back to another episode I am back on the backyard river uh, it's just 20 minutes away from me so why not I uh, don't feel like traveling too far especially when this is fishing so good so close so I uh, just get weighted up here hopefully gonna get some trout I'm also going to spend some significant time actually chasing the other fish that live in here um, I have one run well two runs pretty close to each other but one run in particular that is really really loaded up um, with some big carp and my buddy I will show you the clip here I'm gonna be dumb and come right to it <laughs> let's go dude look at that bad girl big old carp look at that thing you look good Woo! It's one heck of a fight. There she goes. Let's go, dude. He caught two of those. Um, he caught two carp in a matter of like, I think a half hour or so. And they're both decently sized. Um, we were fishing the same run. We were fishing for trout. But the carp are just so stacked up in there that it's, it's hard not to, you know, take a cast or two at them. They're kind of doing their fall winter stuff, even though the temperatures are kind of warm. Um, so they aren't like feeding up in the shallow locations too much. Um, so kind of being unconventional with them, doing some indicator rigs, just trying to trying to drift through the pods. Um, the fly that I will be using. So I'll be using something like that little guy here. This is a size 10 leech. It's got like a 4.3 mil bead on it, but it's super, super small. I mean, you can see it compared to my hand. This is way smaller than I normally fish for river carp. But this time of year, you know, it's gotta be a little bit more subtle. So I think I'm gonna start the day out going after those guys. And uh, all I brought was my five weight. So it's gonna be an interesting fight. Nice part is though, it's gonna protect that lighter tippet that uh, you gotta use when you're indicator fishing for carp. So we're gonna see what happens. It's um, it's a beautiful day. It's like gonna be 75 again today. So I'm uh, getting out while I can, while the weather's still nice. This buck will not go. There we go. But getting out while the weather is nice and just fishing up uh, real close to me. You know, I really like ice fishing. So I'll probably be doing some ice fishing videos here by the end of the month or something like that. Just depends on how ice conditions look. If it keeps getting or staying this warm that it has been, then I don't think that, you know, ice is going to come too early this year, but my hopes are up. So <laughs> anyways, I'm going to get right to this video. Hope you guys enjoy. Alrighty, making my little stroll down to the river. If you guys are from Denver, I'm sure you can recognize that spot up there. If not, you're missing out. It's like, you're not really missing out on much. Again, I'm just really fishing the local stuff just because it's been doing so well that it's kind of hard for me to, hard for me to pass it up. So I'm gonna find a Looks like this is my best spot down. <clears throat> Surprised there aren't any trout right here. Well, speaking of the devil, there's a trout right there. <laughs> Two. But in the run below me where I'm going to be fishing, there is a pretty big school of carp hanging out. So. I'm gonna skip the trout stuff for now and head straight for the carp while lighting is good. And then if I strike out, which I probably will, then I'm gonna move on to trout. But scoop another trout right here. Yeah, I'm super stoked. I'm uh Watched my buddy catch those two the other day. It got me really amped for it. So I quickly tied up some leeches the other day for carp. And yeah, let's see if we can't make it happen here. No 
no love on the first cast. And I actually have one just right here in front of me. Actually a couple. happened here but I have I have one on I don't know if I fouled him or if I got him in the mouth we'll find out here in a second I don't feel any head chicks I think I may have fouled him uh oh I think I did I just have a single single fly on so I don't know if I have him or not but there's no way he could have wrapped up so Might see my back in here in a second. And there's the backing. I think I may have fouled this day. going. Jeez. I, I can't even do anything. <laughs> All right, I'm going to hop on the shore here and see what happens. If he is in the mouth, this is one heck of a fight. I'm thinking I fouled him though. I didn't really see any head. I saw one head shake, but I don't know if that was instinctual or what. But I think I have this fish fouled, unfortunately. Now all I have is a five weight, so I can't really do much. I have my fly line back.
Oh, I don't know, guys. I think I have them in the mouth. I, I do. I'm pretty sure I do. Holy cow. <laughs> I have them in the mouth. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> I thought I for sure snagged them. Are you kidding me? Holy cow, and this is not a small carp either. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I thought I was just gonna break him because I thought I had him snagged. But I was like, no, I'm just gonna wait him out, see if I can get another visual of him. And sure enough, it's just a hot, hot carp. And all I have is 3X on too, so I can't really muscle them around and I have a five weight so I'm doubly screwed but look at the size of that fish holy cow oh my gosh I for sure thought I snagged him oh this feels so good guys look at the size of that fish oh my gosh maxing out my five yeah that that flies all in his lip I might break my rod landing him holy cow Holy cow, he smoked the fly too. Look at that. Ugh. I'm gonna have to just back him all the way up into the shallow water. I can't do anything but this. Oh. Like I said, I have this 3X on and a five weight. So the odds are very, very stacked against me. Holy cow. Look at the size of this carp. Look at the size of this carp, guys. I'm gonna get him here. Oh my god! Look at the size of this carp, guys. <laughs> Let's go! Look at the size of this beast. I don't know if you guys can see, he was not fouled at all. Fly in the lip. I'm gonna see if I can. Look at this, guys. Top of the lip, giant carp on that little leech I tied the other day. Look at the size of this behemoth. Holy cow. <laughs> we got him. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> it's a big boy. It's a big old carp. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Whoo. Holy cow, guys. Look at the size of that fish. Alrighty, guys. Well, that was one heck of a fight. Look at the size of this carp. Holy cow. I would not have expected that. It took me, I don't know how many yards into my backing, but... This fish is so heavy, I can barely lift him up. Look at the gut on that fish. Holy cow. I am so stoked, my arms are shaking. Just on a five weight too, but we got him in. Let's go, guys. All right, guys, look at the size of this carp. Fill the entire net. It's got a huge gut on her. I don't know how much this thing weighs. I didn't bring the scale today, but we're gonna get her out of here. That was so cool. The craziest part about that fight was I swore he was snagged. I didn't feel a whole lot of head shakes. I saw like one or two initially, but that fish just went on a run, brought me so deep into my backing. I've never seen that much backing ever before. And uh, yeah, just on a five weight and three X tippet. I know it's kind of undergunned, but I just wanted to protect the tippet at the most. And that fish was, I mean, I'm out, I'm out of words. I, I'm truly speechless. That was such an amazing fight, such a big fish. I hope you guys saw most of that, but whew, that was incredible. So I'm gonna try and catch another, but I'm already, just, like I'm shaking. Uh, let's try and catch another fish.
I thought for sure that fish had it. Dang it. What do I have here? What the heck is this, guys? What the heck is this? Oh my gosh, it's a giant sucker. What? I've been seeing this fish down in here and I've been wondering what the heck it is. And it is a sucker. Holy cow. Look at the size of the sucker. <laughs> I'm gonna say this is like by far my best sucker ever. Holy cow, guys. I'm not even upset about this. This is super cool. Catching trout over and over gets a little repetitive. So, catching carp and suckers. Oh my gosh, look at the size of this thing. Holy cow. No wonder I thought it was a carp. Oh, <laughs> this thing is ginormous. Holy shnikes. What? <laughs> you guys, look at the size of this sucker. I can't believe it. I'm what? Oh my gosh. This thing is insane. Well guys, look at the size of this sucker. This is a huge white sucker. I was not expecting that at all. I kept seeing this fish in the bottom of the run thinking it was a trout or a super small carp. But look at that. I just measured him out at 21 inches. That is like a stud of a sucker so cool only native fish in this river so i'm happy about that one let's get him out of here all right guys look at this side on him he's got mangled up by something but honestly so cool i love catching just different species of fish people don't like catching suckers and i get it you know you're out there to catch trout but look at the size of this sucker let's get him out of here look at that guy <laughs> so cool just an absolute stud of a sucker i was already saying a lot of people don't like catching suckers but honestly i'm all about it that fish fought super super hard and i mean how many times are you going to go to your backyard river and catch a fish that size granted i already caught a huge carp but i mean if i didn't catch a carp that sucker would have been like the fish of the day for me. I'm so stoked on that. I love catching trout. I love catching other uh, species of fish, but honestly, like the weird trash fish, like carp, suckers, white fish, I'm all about. I'm all about just catching fish and being out on the water. And this video is an absolute perfect example of like the kind of fishing that I like to do. You know, obviously I'm gonna go catch some trout now, I think, maybe do a couple more drifts for some carp, but I've got a huge carp and a huge native sucker. Like, ah. Day is made, guys. I hope you guys like this. I don't, I doubt that much you do because everyone likes trout, but man, I'm all about just variety. So, that was sweet. Here we go guys, got a big fish on, sitting right at, the, right at that undercut. Thank you. 
big, big fish. Come on, big girl. She's gonna run me downstream, isn't she? Yep. You gotta follow her. Oh, come on. Oh, I can't even like handle him. Let's see if I can get him right here. Nope. Just not giving up. Oh, come on, big butt. Big girl. Look at that size of that fish. Holy cow. That's a big rainbow, guys. Can't even get him. It's a heavy, heavy rainbow. Sitting in that fast current. I'm really applying the pressure. But all I have is 5X tippet on. Can't even, like, steer him. See if I can get him right here. Got him. Holy cow, guys. That is a huge rainbow trout. Holy cow. Wow. I think I just hit the trifecta of big fish. Giant. Oh, and the fly popped out. Let's go, guys. The fly already popped out. See, did he bend my hook out? He did. <laughs> I need to find a better hook for this Christmas jig here. Look at that, guys. Another bent out hook. Holy cow, let's see how long this guy is. That is a big male. Sitting, you can see, head, down to the tail, right at 19, maybe just a little, little under 20, but that is a toad. Look at that, guys. Absolutely awesome rainbow trout. Nice buck. He's got a little kite going, super healthy looking. Let's get him out of here. There you go, guys. There's an absolute stud of a rainbow trout. Let's get him out of here. Awesome. Alrighty, guys. Well, I think that's going to do it for today's episode. That was a super, super cool time out there. I uh, I can't believe it. I caught a huge carp. I caught a huge white whitefish, white sucker. And then also a huge rainbow trout. I mean, I hit the absolute trifecta of local water. So I could not be any more stoked on that. That was by far one of the most memorable days I've had in a very, very long time. So but anyways, I think that's going to do it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. What I really need you guys to do, though, is please subscribe. Um, it means the world to me. It actually does a lot for the channel growth and as far as, you know, all the YouTube analytics crap. So anyways, um, I have a full setup waiting for you guys. All you guys need to do is like, subscribe, and comment um, on a video in the past. It's my Taylor River video, um, and you guys will be automatically entered to win. So a full setup waiting for you. All you got to do is subscribe and do two more things on that video. So anyways, please like, comment on this video, and please, please, please subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next episode of Xavier Gone Fishing.